Hello, this is Austin Passy here with Xten.com, a WordPress plugin marketplace. And today I'm here to talk about Custom Login 2.0, which you'll find for free in the WordPress repo. In my local host, I'd like to show you an example of the login page that you'll currently see if you install custom login less than 2.0, which currently is version 1.1.4. If you go to wordpress.org slash extend slash plugins slash custom login, you'll find the current version 1.1.4. I've been working on 2.0 for a little bit and I'm ready to release it, and I'd like to show it to you now. I'm already logged in here. If I go over my settings of the current 1.1.4, you can see here, I'm gonna make some changes. These aren't the best changes, and the page might look a little funny, but it's for testing purposes only. I'm gonna save these changes. And now, we'll head over to the login page and you can see what the design looks like. This is completely the same in 2.0, but everything's a lot faster and better. So let me show it to you now. For this demo, I'm gonna have to deactivate 1.1.4 and activate 2.0. But if you have 1.0, 1.4 or earlier installed, you'll get an upgrade notice like you would any other plugin from the WordPress repo. So 2.0 is activated, and let's head over to the new settings page. Once activated, you'll notice a notice here that says custom login needs to be upgraded. And let's run through that real fast. Once all of the settings have been updated, you'll land on this welcome page. You can read through it if you like, or you can go directly to the new settings page. What the upgrade did is pull in all of the old settings, like that bright green, that purple, this purple, this blue, and this red, from the old settings. And if I refresh the page, You'll see we'll still have the same design, but I've got uh, a bright green setting here for the background. Ooh, isn't this pretty? In versions before 2.0, you were able to select a color and choose an opacity. In this version, it's using the new WP color picker, in which case you cannot. So let's give it a blue color. And in the login form, we'll leave it at purple, but you'll notice there's an opacity here. So let's check this, and a new dr dropdown shows up, and let's change this opacity to 0.04. Oh, sorry, 0.4. Let's give it an HTML background image. Here's an image I uploaded this morning from opening day at Dodger Stadium. You'll see a lot of settings here in the login form, some border radius, border size, border color. To box shadows, box shadow colors, you can choose the color of the labels, of the navigation anchor colors, the text shadows, and the hover effects. Now, if you'd like some custom CSS or custom HTML, you can enter that here, just like I did before.
and we're going to save these changes. We refresh the page, and you'll now see that image that I put in. The opacity is now there, and here's that custom logo box. Now, if you style it with maybe an absolute position, put a background image, you can add in your own logo, let's say if it's done on a client site. And let me show you the source. Everything's added to the bottom. So here's our custom HTML. Here's our style sheet, custom login, the type CSS, and everything gets loaded in here. And there's one more thing that I'd like to show you. With the new WordPress settings admin UI, you can see some tabs here or a tab. I'm currently working on multiple extensions. And let me show you the first one that I have built that's almost ready to be released. It's called custom login, stealth logins, and allows you to hide or deactivate your login page to unauthorized users. Once activated, you can click on settings. And you'll notice a new tab here. There's just a few answers, or just a few queries we can fill out here. You can enable this plugin, turning it on and off. You can reuse, you can redirect users by checking it and selecting where you want the users to be redirected to. You can, it currently defaults to your homepage, or you can redirect them to Google or Yahoo or Facebook or wherever you like. These next two need to be filled out. It's a question, which you can see here, will be your login URL and the question, and then the answer to that question. So in this case, I'm going to type the question as bypass and the answer as true. And I'm going to leave the redirect active and redirect them to google.com if they are not. Save these changes. And here's our login page, still designed from custom login. And I am now an unauthorized user and it redirected me to Google. So let me go back and type in bypass is our question, but type in false. I am still not authorized. So therefore, it didn't allow me to see the page. One more time, but this time bypass equals true. And that's the correct answer, and it keeps me on the page. One other setting. You can turn redirect off and then give an array of responses. These first four are default, or you can add as many or remove as many as you like. In this case, I'm going to save the settings. And this will kill a page to a user who is not authorized. So bypass equals false, and this page has now been removed, and one of the many responses is showing up. If I refresh the page, you'll see a random response. But if I go back to my question and my answer that I entered, you can access the page. This is a small security feature to remove your page from brute force login attempts, but it is not a full force security feature. Once again, this is custom login, stealth login, which you can find on extend.com. That's extend with two Ds in the coming days. Thank you.